Hello, um, my name is Brian, I'm one of the London tutors and I thought I would share with you some of the uses you can have for some of these gadgets that I'm sure you might be lucky enough to be given for your birthday or for Christmas. Uh, and if you haven't got one, it's Christmas very soon and it might be a nice idea to ask your lovely friends and family to buy you one for Christmas. Um, the first one is the Kindle, the Amazon Kindle, and uh, in the last few days there's been a new uh, cheaper Kindle released, which will do basically the same as the original Kindle. Uh, the Kindle is a great device. Um, it's ideal for reading books, which is obviously designed for, but something which people don't realise uh, you can do on it is you can actually download uh, material to your Kindle in two ways. Um, the first way is PDF files, which are the standard sort of file that uh, CPPE use on their learning material. Um, you can either transfer it through a drag and drop process to your Kindle, or you can send it to your Kindle account. When you buy a Kindle, you automatically get a Kindle account. And if you email the PDF from your computer to the Kindle, uh, it will transfer over. and in the subject box, if you put the word convert, the Kindle will automatically transfer the PDF file over in a format which is better suited to uh, viewing on the Kindle. I'll just give you an example. Um, this is a screenshot or a live screenshot of a PDF file when, when just transferred over. Um, it's a little bit awkward to read and you have to basically use the Kindle um, and the magnifying to uh, to zoom in onto the various parts of the uh, PDF file that you want to use. It's not particularly user friendly and I wouldn't recommend just transferring over a Kindle file as uh, a PDF file as is. This is the same file um, which once you've actually put it through the conversion process actually displays considerably better on the Kindle and is actually very readable. A few of the menus go a little bit uh, a bit wonky but um, you certainly can read uh, the material and learn from it at, uh, quite, quite easily and again because it's no longer in a PDF file you can actually change uh, the various resolutions so you know if you've got uh, poor eyesight you can obviously on the Kindle just change the uh, resolution to uh, screen you know to, to a font size that suits you this one's a little bit big so in this case I'm going to take the font down to a size that I find quite readable which in my case is this particular font size One other advantage of a Kindle that really is uh, sort of under the bonnet and isn't really publicised is that you can view web pages on the Kindle live. Uh, it's under the menu and then you have to go to experimental settings and you can view uh, very simple web pages. The complex ones don't display very well. The CPPE website, if you display the mobile version, it works quite well. And for example, this is one just showing the mobile version and you could go to latest news and there we are. You can you can see exactly, well you, you probably can't, but I can see very clearly the latest news is NMS card for community pharmacy free with pharmacy magazine. Uh, so um, it is usable. It might be something which you take away on holiday with you and you want to just catch up on some, some news while you're away. Um, but uh, it is an, a hidden feature and it's worth knowing about. Ah, my favourite, the iPad. Now, if your friends were a little bit more generous and they were happy to spend out uh, £399, um, an iPad is so much more versatile than the Kindle, though its battery doesn't last anywhere near as long. I can have two weeks of holiday on one charge of a Kindle, but um, maybe about eight hours of use on a iPad. Um, the Kindle displays all your PDFs that you can download from CPPE. The best way to get them onto the Kindle is to email them to yourself from your uh, standard email account to back to yourself and then you can just basically save them in your iBooks. Um, the, they display exceptionally well. The one I'm looking at the moment is Patient Centered Care Open Learning and it's very, very easy to use. You literally turn the pages over and it becomes a very, very, very easy to use resource. And at the bottom, you can go to whatever page you want to go to, and they display exceptionally well. 
for me, it's going to save an awful lot of space on the shelf. Um, I probably will start to keep the PDFs, and uh, I'm running out of storage for all the actual hard copies of the books that I've acquired over the years, and will probably would like to give them to um, my students, my student pre-regs, etc., to uh, to make use of um, the hard copies. I hope you found this video clip useful. Uh, it, these, the, these devices will give you the opportunity to look at the CP material uh, while you're at, at work or at home, on holiday. It's just so easy to access the material when you've actually got it literally in your briefcase and it's not taking up any space. And it's just not limited to these two devices that I've shown you, the Android phones and tablets. Um, and various other e-readers uh, have the capability to display PDF files, the iPhone, the iTouch, these all will do similar things as well. Though bear in mind that if you want to read something comfortably you do need a fairly large screen size. It is quite difficult reading a PDF file on a little iPhone or an iTouch. Thank you for listening to me and uh, enjoy your learning.